Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. So, today, um, I'm going to be doing a building slash, building slash, what? Building tricks and hacks and stuff. Hacks and tricks. And, um, yeah, so without further ado, let's get into the video. So, first thing we have here is, um, this lovely bookshelf uh, honestly could fit for any room. This can go really anywhere, like in your office or your bedroom. Doesn't really matter where. It has these little shelf um, beehives. They look like shelves, which is why I use those. Um, we have the bookshelves here. That and some planks, item frames in the middle, and that. Even, you can also have it without the uh, item frames or you can add like your casual desk spot there. So, let's go on to the next one. Next up we have this small little gaming, or I guess not gaming, office area. Um, really can be used anywhere at the same. Um, if I go here, I can sit down. I'll be playing some Minecraft. And there's a note block thing set up right here. It's just under the button, um, led down to here, and on to this note block with the uh, emerald block under it, if you want that sound. And let's keep going. Also, the reason that that's a stone slab is because it wouldn't be able to power without that. The wagon. Yeah, alright. Well, let's go to the next one. So, next one is kind of just a sh uh, side shelf decorating, uh, decoration. So, we have a pot here and um, a painting. S this uh, can be extended to the max or and have different items on them. Uh, you have to have it on the top of a block here. And the reason I can't have it on this one, because I am able to place a slab on there, but you're not able to place, like, oops, items on the things like that, which is strange. So I just had to go and make it a little bigger. So that, or you could just have it empty, which is also completely fine. Let's go on to the next. So the next one here is a nice aquarium very small and compact um if i go over here you're able to carve and put your little things here add your water um all it needs is just some fish or it can be empty completely up to you let me change this to do not disturb sorry about that um yeah so that's that one let's go to the next one this is a very small and cute ki uh, kitchen, what? Um, living room type area. We have a small coffee table up here. A uh, banner down here, you can place blocks there on top of it. This nice, lovely um, lamp and a pot over here. And this coffee table, like I said. Let's go, on, go to the next one. Okay, so next here, we have um, a nice bed spot. So another thing you can actually do is you can place beds under here and um, put the carpets on top of them and add trap doors. So you can, so it's functional and that's also a really nice feature you can add to these type of beds. I have this again, lamp here, just just smaller. Some barrels as your small end table slash nightstand. Then there's this, I guess this would be the end table. Um, this spot here, I have my head, and this can be really anything on top of here for decorating. Pot, and I added carpet up here so it looks like a blanket. You can, again, have this any color. So, uh, there is a slight problem with having the lamp here. Since it is a light source, it will melt the snow eventually. But if the lamp is far enough away, it won't do that or just not have the lamp as you can see like that so um yeah next one okay so we have this super nice 
um, small little brewing stand area. This is honestly one of my favorites. This is because I always have such a hard time coming up with a brewing area because they're not always the best things to work with because they're very useful but not ever really nice and or decorating wise maybe like a coffee station but that's really it um so i have come up with this design here that has some barrels for your nether wart here um we have your potions over this side your brewing stands of course and there could be more and this could be maxed so far out um just making a small little compact version of it and let's go on to the next one so we have another wall decoration here. We have C418's head, and let me show you the command to give it to yourself. So if I do slash give monster or player head, skull owner, make sure the capitals are like that, and then any the player's head, and boom. Now I have this player's head. I could do anyone. Let's do cryptic. For some reason, he's a steep. That's okay. <laughs> um, we can do anyone. So, yeah, I'll give myself my head. And that's basically to do that. Command. Pretty simple and easy. So, that's another little tip there. So, again, completely customizable. Uh, it's a nice light source, like kind of hidden light source. Like you can have this all around it if you felt like it. It would just be a little extra, but it is completely possible. So this again can be anything. Um, I have a couple things up there and a shelf at the end just to make it look a little nicer. You could have this as stairs, which would be pretty cool, honestly. But this would probably have to be a little bit higher. So that's let's go on to the next one. So this has to be one of my favorites. This is the working functional closet. It has shoulder boxes for storage at the top. You can walk in or just have both of these things open. Come over here, step on it, and you get all of your nice fancy clothes. This is one of my favorites. I love this. It can be anything. You can use this as a troll, as a prank, really anything. Um, let's go on to the next one. Here is a super simple one, but one of my favorites again. It's a nice cat post just for your cat to walk around and a really nice decoration and place for your cat to sit and hang out. So, we have another kind of same thing as the first one that was over there. We have this nice bookshelf. It It's not functional, but it looks cool. Um, if you use looms and you turn them around at, like so, it will show up as this nice empty looking bookshelf. All right, and let's go to the next one. Alright, next up, we have this super nice fireplace. Make sure you have the netherrack there or a forever, forever infinite block, burning block, and it'll make a wonderful, um, uh, what is it called? What is this called? Fireplace. Sorry. <laughs> Lost my train of thought. Alright, well, let's go to the next one. Okay, so next up, we have a nice uh chair it's functional you can sit down and have a wonderful time really um so basically what this takes is you don't even need this part but i think it's a fun little thing to have on it um so basically how you do, would do this is take a rail let me place this down take your trap doors build around it just like so Add your minecart, break the rail underneath. You can have a item frame here with whatever you want, and you can have a banner, and it shows like this. You can have a um, 
thing up front there. Or you could use this also as a barrel, which would be cool. Um, and the way you could make that is you can do that. This is a actual trick, another one, I guess, inside of a trick. You can have like a milk bucket, like in your cow farm. That's completely random, but you can. Um, so yeah, let's go to the next one. So this next one, let me clear my inventory here. So this next one is a mining, like, mine shaft trick. Basically, you can just add your minecart here. You can have any box that you would like. Have this power your minecart off into a rail system or something. This, um, this head is, his name is Miner. You can use that for, uh, a Miner Minecraft guy. <laughs> Bunch of ore scattered around and a big, huge thing here for, uh, what is it called? What is it? I am losing my train of thought. Big support pillars around it. Let's go to the next one. So, this next one here is a fog trick. Um, this is definitely well known by now, but it's a cool trick that if you go down, you do it every two blocks and it creates this fog effect and it looks super cool. This is like perfect for laboratories and stuff and like big ooze things. So I have like caution things around it and then this giant bin of like fog or ooze or whatever you want it to be. This can be any color. So you can have it like mysterious red or mysterious purple, anything really like that. Let's go to the next trick. All right, so here we have a super simple a uh, shower design so we have some sea pickles and uh, turtle eggs this can be up to any amount uh well one to four on both of these so it's like shampoo and conditioner on those and we have this little dip here because it's the drain of course um things here so this is kind of a modern design so it's like, of course, tinted glass panes for uh, the kind of, I forgot what it's called. It unlike unla a curtain, but yeah, let's go to the next one. Okay, so this is kind of a prison design. It is a prison design. Basically how you make this one is you take your beacon. So of, of course have your iron under there or whatever it, you want it to be. Add your color, your this, because you're not able to move unless it is open, you will fall down though. So you can have that there, add a carpet over it, and no, you can't enter unless you crouch. So it's a prison, it's a cool looking prison design, it's just annoying that you need this all open, because um, it is going to kind of give away wherever. So, um, yeah, that's this one. Let's go to the next one. All right, so this is the last trick, and we have a nice kitchen design. So up here we have whatever you want this to be, really. A nice head, some flowers, and yes, just a lot of shelves, cake, This anything can be here. And a fridge, how to construct this is you take dispenser so if I do this first thing you're gonna want to do add to your door there should be a wall behind it so you would add that and make sure it's pointing outwards like this add your white block and you can have it like that super simple and easy design and construction so without further ado thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time Bye.